can have a good day. Um, our seniors had probably the roughest day of the, the whole season collectively, and I love them. They're great kids. They work hard for us, but they didn't have a very good day today. Um, you know, we, we did a lot of average things wrong, uh, drop pop-ups, average ground balls. Uh, but, you know, we believe in these kids. It's still early in the conference season, and we believe that they're going to make those plays for us. And, uh, we're going to do a better job with runners in scoring position. Uh, I uh, got the call from a disappointed, but they never stopped competing. You know, I'm proud of them for that. But, you know, the competing start stuff needs to end at some point in time, and a, and a W needs to step forward. So um, we're disappointed, but, uh, again, I think Florida's one of the really good teams in the country. They're basically where, where we want to get to. You know, it's uh, years and years and years of stacking really good players on top of each other. They execute when it matters. Um, and, uh, you know, that's, that's where we want to be. And unfortunately, it, it, uh, it's not happening uh, as quickly as we want it to. The runners in scoring position just all weekend is kind of a struggle. Okay. Can you pinpoint anything? Yeah, you know, we're just, uh, we're just not putting the barrel where we want it at the right time. Uh, we're running in scoring position. So, uh, you know, again, it's, I'm, I'm just a little surprised because it's mainly our senior guys right now. So, um, you know, they're resilient kids. They, they work hard at it. They, they're, there's leadership there, so I really expect at some point in time that uh, you know they'll, they'll start getting it done. What was the game plan for their star? He's a high high pitch count guy. Um, and he hasn't gone on, on five, so were you trying to get the pitch count up on him? We were, you know, but he was pretty efficient, and um, you know we swung at a lot of balls. You know we swung. We had a pretty small strike zone to work with today offensively, and uh, we swung a lot of pitches out of the strike zone. I'm not 100 percent sure he threw three strikes to any given hitter the first two times to the order. Uh, you know, I'll look at the film right now and uh, you see that for sure. But, uh, you know, they're, they're a good club. You know, and every club in our league is going to have an inning like they just had. They throw a ball away. Uh, you know, the right fielder basically fall down, falls down and he still finds a way to catch the ball. You know, um, I mean, every ball that they hit like that didn't get caught for us today. Uh, it fell in front. Um, I don't know how you teach that. The, the check swing. You know, ball coming soft out of the barrel, wind blowing 800, 800 miles an hour, so you have to be on the wall. Um, you know, there's a certain degree of uh, opportunism that has to happen, and that, you know, it didn't didn't happen for us as, as much today as we, we would have liked for it to. You know, Ogden struggles, and that error basically led to the difference in the game, those two runs. They say to him after this. You know, I just say, you know, I still really believe that he's one of the best guys out there. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's in, insane. This kind of thing never ever, ever, ever happens to him in practice. I mean, we'll take 150 ground balls a day, and he will throw every ball across at the guy in the chest, and he'll make every single play. It's hard to work with a guy and make suggestions when, you know, in practice he does it the right way, and he, I mean, it's an out every single time. So he's a tough kid, he's resilient, and he'll come back and he'll make some great plays for it. I think one of the things is he gets to so many balls that other shortstops don't that it puts him in a vulnerable throwing position and, you know, he makes mistakes through, through throwing the ball across the infield. But, again, it's still very, very early, and I, I really feel like we're not playing our best baseball yet. And, you know, we might have played the best two teams not only in our league but in America in you know, our conference season so far. So um, there's, there's a lot left to, you know, for us, and I think these kids are going to play better baseball down the stretch. Here early on the on the run home uh, with the catcher there, did – did he? What did it look like to you? Well, I, you know, to me, I mean, there's, there's no question what I thought. I wouldn't come out there if I didn't, you know, didn't feel like it. I mean, we have a really good view of it, and uh, you know, it's a very difficult job back there. And, you know, I mean, those things happen in the game. I mean, uh, the, there's a human element in the game. There's some things as a team you can control. There's some things that you can't control. That's one of the things you can't control. So, uh, you know, you just you, you, if it doesn't happen there, you got to find a way to score the runs and try and win the game. Really good. He, he threw it in the strike zone, which is exactly what we needed after yesterday. You know, we didn't have a lot of strike ones yesterday, and they came in and shoved it in the zone, and, and we needed it. If you force any team with these bats to hit the ball in this ballpark, even with the wind blowing, you can get a lot of people out. If you're hitting people and you're walking people, you, they're going to score a huge percentage of the time. So I thought Nick did a great job with that. I thought Caleb Reed was a warrior. I thought Luis did a great job. And you know, I just wish, you know, I feel horrible for Augie because if we make that play, I really believe it, it changes everything.